we are going to make an assignment where people have to actually upload files to Blackboard that we will then view and grade. To do that, we have to be in a content area, and you might have one already called Assignments made for you. You don't have to use it. Just make sure that the assignments that you create are consistent in how they are found and accessed. If you don't have an Assignments content area in your list here, but you want one, Edit Mode turned on. Go to your course navigation. At the top left is this icon that you can mouse over. And then go to New and Content Area. Give it a name and make available and then hit Submit. And then you'll have a content area that looks just like this. Now all content areas have these four tabs. What we want to look at in this case is the Assessments tab and the Assignment Type. Give it a name, any name and keep this simple and consistent and if you change this later that's fine so whatever this name is this is going to be the same name as the assignment column in your grade center we also have some directions i have the due date at the top in bold and a larger font i include some basic directions mention any attached files you can mention how your learning objectives fit into the overall course. And the reason for this is that if the assignment doesn't meet the objectives, then they can let you know and hopefully give you constructive ways to improve the assignment for future semesters. And last but not least, what to do if people need help and things go wrong. Below that, we can attach files by browsing course or browsing computer. We don't really use cloud storage. I've already attached three files, and you can see them right here, and a link title. Do not change the name of a link right here. Instead, change your actual file to match what you want it to show up as right here. So keep your names consistent and clear before you even upload. And you'll also see that we have under File Action, create a link to this file, or I can make the file display within the page. The PDF document has to be a link. And you can just click on the checkbox for a due date and the calendar for your date and then the clock for the time. Typically, end of day is most common. Below that, we have grading with points possible. This can be any number that you want. I will add a rubric in a different video. For grading options, the defaults are unchecked and that's fine. And same for display of grades, defaults are fine. The only thing to look at is, is this checkbox right here, checked to include in their final grade, uncheck to not. But the default is checked. Now for submission details, assignment type for individual is, is default. If I had the number of attempts, the default is single attempt, but this causes a lot of problems. Things go wrong, files fail to upload, you go into Grade Center and you clearly attempt, you email them again, they try again, and by that point, it's a bad time for everyone. So, for number of attempts, set to no limit. And then we can score, typically using the last attempt right here. And what this looks like in the Grade Center is you're going to have all of these icons for attempts. In that cell to the right, this drop down here, I'm going to see all of the attempts. And the most recent one is going to be at the bottom. It does not create any extra work for you. You have the option of displaying after and or until a date and time. If you use this, either or, this has to be checked. If this is unchecked, then even when this date is valid, no one's going to see the assignment because this overrides everything. And that's all there is to the assignment, really. Uh, oh yeah, SafeAssign is a plagiarism tool. But what that means is that if you have a paper with proper citations, SafeAssign doesn't know. SafeAssign's gonna go in there and say, hey, this person has been plagiarizing all of these different sections. Right? You're still going to have to review the assignment and see what's going on. Some teachers like to make the results available so that they can become more aware Once I hit submit, 
Okay, so we have our files here, and this is the assignment that's been created. Descriptions at the bottom and the attached files are right here on top. And you can see that they are not very accessible right now. I need to improve this before I release this for real. The icon here is not grayed out, therefore the assignment is visible now. And as a student, what they're going to do is actually click on the assignment name to get to the submission page where they have the due date, points possible, description first, and then the course files below that. But they are not hyperlinked and they are easy to not see. As the instructor, if you mouse over the assignment, go over to the right in this drop down and go to edit. This is how you edit the assignment at any point. 